What's up everyone, it's Wabacha and this is an updated Shockwave Totem guide for the Assassin in Path of Exile Ascendancy. Shockwave Totem is a great build for all aspects of the game at any time in a league. For this guide we no longer use Eldritch Battery and Mind Over Matter, but instead use a mana based hybrid build. This gives us more life in the end and also makes better use of many passives we already use. For Ascendancy passives you will use Deadly Infusion and Toxic Delivery. Ambush is good to use while leveling, but I recommend swapping a Toxic Delivery once you reach maps. To level this character, use a combination of Fire Trap and Firestorm, with a Firestorm linked in a pair of Deerstalker Unique Boots until you swap to Shockwave Totem. Due to how far Ancestral Bond is when starting Shadow, you will be unable to use Shockwave Totem as soon as possible if you want to have a smooth leveling experience. For this reason, you will not transition until around level 55 to 60 and instead will be specking into two trap clusters, Hasty Reconstruction and Saboteur. Respecting these points as soon as you transition to Shockwave Totem. The passive tree is also slightly different than the Inquisitor version and previous Shockwave Totem builds. Due to all the crit granted by Assassin subclass, you should prioritize Critical Multiplier on the tree at every chance and you will no longer be using Shaman's Dominion. Your skill gems and links should be the following. Whirling Blades linked with Faster Attacks and Fortify. Orb of Storms linked with Power Charge on Crit, Curse on Hit, and Assassin's Mark. Hatred, and eventually as you reach higher levels, a Herald of Ash linked with Enlighten, a Castwind Damage Taken setup with Molten Shell, Enfeeble, and Immortal Call, and finally Enduring Cry, Flame Dash, and Faster Casting. The brand new Stone Golem is a great addition to the Shockwave Totem build because it grants a substantial amount of life regen that helps bolster your defenses. For gear, you will want a Spell Dagger with as much crit, crit multi, spell damage, and attack speed as possible. Face breakers in your glove slot, carcass jack in your chest, and rare pieces with as much life, energy shield, and resist for the rest. And that wraps it up for this guide. If you have any questions, you can comment here, check out the post on the forums, or come to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Thanks guys, have a good one.